Just get the... God damn it. Oh, uh, yeah, there are little crab things here. And I don't mean the type of crabs that you get from, like, a, a dirty ex-girlfriend. I mean, these crabs, they, yeah, they, they will kill you. The other ones, you could comb out. These, you can't comb out. God damn it. Yo, 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 what's going on guys? This is your boy Wilfresco and this is another episode in the wonderful world of Subnautica which is Planet 4546B if I'm not mistaken. This is the water world, the beautiful, well, I don't know, I don't even know what to call it but it is the freaking hydro paradise I guess. Alright, so in this video we're going to get the, the all-purpose room for your base so you can start making your base. And I'm going to show you guys where to get it. I'm going to show you guys how to get um, unlimited food and unlimited food source because fishing sucks, bro. Catching these little fishes sucks. You know what I mean? They're fast. They're quick. And you got to, bro, you got to feed yourself like a baby. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay attention to your health. You got to pay attention to your water. You know what I mean? So we're going to prep up real quick. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make myself a tank real quick because I do have a tank. I got 75 seconds on the tank. I don't want that. I want more. So... We're going to fabricate ourselves a high capacity tank. Now, I got everything except the standard O2 tank. Now, keep in mind, when you're going to make a, the high capacity tank, what you want to do is you do not want to craft another tank. You do not want to craft another standard tank. What you want to do is you already got one. You know what I mean? So what you're going to do is you're going to unequip it. You know what? Let me put some stuff in here because I can't carry it. You need four slots for this, right? So let me just put that in there for now temporarily. I'll, uh, I'll unequip my tank that I have now. Unequip that. Whoops, wrong button. Um, unequip, 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 unequip. God damn it. <laughs> Why can I not unequip it? Don't tell me I got to make another one. I might have to make another one. All right, so I am going to craft another O2 tank. But I do have enough materials for it, so it's all right. It's three titanium. Now we got the titanium. Now we could craft our standard O2 tank. The standard O2 tank is going to be a little more high capacity. Instead of 75, I believe it brings us up to one, uh, 130, I think it is. 130 seconds, which is freaking awesome. So we'll equip that. And that brought us up to, yeah, 135. GG, boys. Now let me grab all my other stuff back. I will put this in there because I don't need it no more. And I'm going to grab my med kits. Yo, remember my peoples, every time you come in here, check your your med kit fabricator here because you do get a med kit every so often and always take it out so it could uh, regenerate another one. Now I'm going to make myself just a couple of batteries because these batteries go so quick. So I'm going to make myself a couple of batteries just in case. I'm not going to eat anything. I should be good with the water and the food I got now. And where we're going, there is going to be food. All right, I made four batteries. I should be good. Let me check all my equipment. This is at 73. This got no batteries. I got to put a battery in here. Let's put that in there. This one has no battery. Another battery in there. This is at 53%. And all right, I think I'm good to go. Let me see what can I drop in here. We're going to need some space. So make sure to drop some stuff that you're not going to use. Oh, they're all 100%. All right, I'll carry two batteries on me. Put that gold in there. I don't need that. I don't need the mushrooms. I will, no, nah, I don't need no fire extinguisher. I do, I do need the food and I don't have any water on me, but we're not going to need it. We'll be all right. All right. So this is where we're going to go. We're going over this way. This is the back of the Aurora, right? And we're going to this mist right here. It is a mist. This is going to be in everybody's game. It's not, this doesn't move. This is this mist area right here. We're going to go over there. It's going to be a little bit of a ride. If you do not have a sea glide or a sea moth yet, then um you know what i'll put a card up on the corner of the video so you guys can see how to get the sea glide you need a sea glide at least you can swim over there but good luck it is a little way out there all right so we're going to start our journey we're going straight ahead straight to the mist that's that's all we're doing we're not doing nothing crazy and um while this ride is going on i'm about to play some some chill i don't know what i'm gonna play something that doesn't get me demonetized i'm gonna play some chill floaty music all right so enjoy my peoples
right, boys. So we are here. This island right here is... I don't know what it's called. It's just a nice island. I was going to make a corny name for it, but I'm not. It's just a nice island. All right, so you are going to need your scanner. If you don't got a scanner yet, um, I'll put it. I'll put a link in the description on how to get the scanner. All right? So you're going to need a scanner, and you're going to need... A scan everything. Everything you scan, just scan it. You know what I mean? So... We're gonna find food and we're gonna find the pieces for the for your base some of the base pieces now some of the base pieces are up there we got to make our way up there some way somehow we're gonna walk this way I haven't been here in a while so um this is kind of like my first run with you guys this is my first run of the day matter of fact I did not practice this I did not uh plan for this very well but we're gonna try to make our way up there Um, the trick to this that I found is follow the path. You guys will see like a brown path like this. Just follow the path. It'll lead you up there. Uh, with the brown path. There it is. Alright. Just keep keep uh, keep an eye on the ground. You will see like brown patches. That is your path. So just follow that. It'll lead you up there. And um, this we found something in here. What is in here? This is a stasis rifle. Oh, I got no batteries in it. I got no batteries in the scanner. Didn't I put a battery in there? All right, there we go. The stasis rifle, GG. Alien technology. This is uh, another rifle fragment. All right, now we got the blueprint for the rifle. So that is up here too, by the way. All right, now this piece right here, you can scan this. Uh, yeah, you can scan all of this, the bulkhead. Uh, 100% there we go Let's go in here. Let's turn on a flashlight open the container. There's water in there GG. That's um disinfecting water This right here is gold I'm gonna show you guys why this plant right here. It's called the lantern fruit now you can pick from here They will give you ten food and three water for each one which is freaking awesome So just take it and just gobble it up now make sure you grab a seed to take with you. Um, the fern plant don't give you anything. Let me see what else. The grub basket. You are going to need the grub basket in order to plant it. So you got the blueprints for that. Um, the, the lantern tree. Scan that. It just gives you the info for your PDA. The fern plant. That this doesn't give you any food. The thing that you're most interested in is the big fruit thing right there. The one with the... This one right here, the lantern fruit. All right, so we have the planter. What else? I could scan something else. Where is it? Where is it? All right, that right there. The shrub doesn't give you anything. So this right here, like I was saying, this is an excellent source of food. All right, so make sure you grab this and eat up. Fellas, eat up. I'll carry a couple of these on me just in case I get hungry later. But there are more plants that we are going to be looking for. And I'm going to show you exactly what they are. I feel like I can scan something else. Oh, the observatory. You need this for your base also. This is also a base piece. I am going to try to find... There's like small pots. Because the small pots I can put in the lifeboat. Alright, we're done with that. Let me see what else can I scan here. Make sure you look around. Make sure you scan everything that's scannable. God damn it, I'm stuck. Alright, there we go. Alright, I think I got everything here. Alright, let's get out of here, boys. We're going to try to go to the other one. I think there's more food up there on that one. So we're going to go to that one. There is fall damage here, fellas. Just keep that in mind. Look, you see, there we go. We're going to go to the bottom one. We're going to go to the top one because we need uh, there's other pieces here that we're going to need. Let me see what can I scan here. This is the multi-purpose room. This is going to be your main room when you make a base. This room, you could uh, kind of branch it off into different rooms, to different sections and stuff like that. So this one is uh, it's kind of a must for your base. I already got the blueprint for that, but let's just get the... God damn it. Uh, yeah, there are little crab things here. And I don't mean the type of crabs that you get from like a, a dirty ex-girlfriend. I mean, these crabs, they, yeah, they, they will kill you. The other ones you could comb out. These you can't comb out. God damn it! They do that. They do die though. 
This is the Chinese potato. Yes, this you need right here. This is also a great source of food. All right, let me kill this little crab thing. Because he's not going to leave me alone. Where are you? Where are you, crab? Crab, crab, where are you? I hear you. I hear it, bro. I swear to God. Yo, I hear it, and it's, it's getting me scared. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me show you how much this gives you. The Chinese potato. It gives you... 12 food and 3 water which is actually more than the fruit but the difference between the fruit is the fruit will regenerate you know what I mean so you're able to eat it the marbelin marble melon this gives you this is gold right here you can live off of this for the whole game it gives you 12 food and 14 water which is amazing what you want to do is for the the marble melon slice it it's going to give you 4 seeds alright you're going to carry the seeds you can't eat the seeds you got to eat the fruit the Chinese potato uh we're gonna take one because it gives us a seed and you know what let's just eat something let's get out 100 percent the lantern fruit gives you eight but it gives you a lot and they do um they do regenerate so that's why i like i like these all right so i have a chinese potato i got a lantern fruit and i do have marble melon which is everything you need to survive now with all of these not for nothing you will not need to fish no more at all like at all you really don't have to fish from here you get water. You cannot bottle the water though. You could get, you could eat it, and it'll give you water. And keep in mind that when you do, when you do um, carry the seeds on you, the fruits on you for a long time, they do rot. You do not want to eat it rotten. Where's the other one at? Is that the one we came from? Wait, wait, I'm lost. Did we come from that one? I think we came from that one. Let's just look up real quick. Damn, I got lost. We came from, we did not come from that one. Now I remember. All right, so we're going to go up this one. We're going to see what this has to offer. If there's anything here that we miss. All right, boys. Yo, it has been a success so far. It went quicker than I thought. I'm going to be real honest. I thought I was going to come over here. I was going to be lost. I wasn't going to be able to find anything. But I found everything relatively quick. And I got to, oh, come on, you can do it. You could do it. All right, let's find another way around because apparently that's not working. Where's the brown path? We gotta find the brown path. That brown path is going down. I need the brown path to go up. So is this the brown path? Yes, it is. Again, whenever you guys wanna make it up these mountains, always follow the brown path. It will always lead you up. Scan, scan everything. This gives you nothing though. You don't want to eat these. You can't eat them anyway, but scan everything, bro. You'll be a hero on your planet when you go back. I think that's how it works. Um, do I go back in here? Alright, let's go back in here. This gives you absolutely nothing. We got the marble melon, which is the gold, which is the creme of the creme, the cream of the crop, which is the icing on the cake. You know what I mean? And it's getting dark. Let's get the flashlight out. I do not want to fall. I'm way too high. All right, let's see if there's anything here that we missed. Oh, the marble melon. I never scanned the marble melon. Where is it? Where is it? Is, is it you? No, you're not the marble melon. All right, there's more plants up here. Let's just scan them. The Chinese potato. And I think I got the pots up here too. Please tell me I got the pots up here. Those look like pots. I can't scan the pots. I can't scan the small pots. Yes, I can. GG, boys. Now, my life is complete. All right, so we got that pot. Grab the data bank right here, this old PDA. What you want to do is, when, um, I'm not going to play it now because it just so uh, I don't make this video 20 hours long. But what you want to do is go in here, look at your data, and um, make sure you go through these. You know what I mean? Like, make sure you go through all of these right here and listen to them they do contain clues as to your quest and all of that all right so make sure you pay attention to those we got that we got that anything else am i missing am i what am i missing am i missing anything else god damn it it's dark in here all right we can scan the table because you do need somewhere to study all right you can hook up your base however you want um we are going to get a bed and all that good stuff we don't got it now but we will be getting it soon all right, so you just want to make sure that you that you get everything that you can scan. 
You're gonna get the swivel chair. Like I said, you are gonna get a. We will find a bed later and everything. And um, you do want to make sure that you you scan everything, so you, we don't have to come back over here. Um, let's just double check real quick. I have all my seeds that I need. I got the lantern fruit. I got the Chinese potato, and I do have four seeds of the marble melon seed. This is freaking gold right now. This was a total success. I love it. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, wait. I think I missed something. Spotlight. Nice. All right. Now we got spotlight too. All right. So we got a lot of sweet stuff over here. And it is really, really dark. And I do not want to fall. All right. Let's make it down safe. I'm good on health. I think I could take a little bit of damage if I do fall. No! Alright, good. I got scared there for a second. Let's find our... Our life pod. Let's turn... Not our life pod. Oh no, we don't have a sea moth. Not yet. So I could go anywhere in the water and just go away. Let's see what else we can scan here. Again, everything you can scan, just scan it. These trees are so beautiful. They're like fluorescent blue and they, yo, they look gorgeous. I wish that you could take them with you, but um, can you? Because I would love to plant one and just have it for decoration. Let's see. Let's see if we could grab a seed. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Does this give you any food? It does. And this is a great source of food, bro. They get, I mean, well, better for water, but it's eight... Wow, look at that. 8 food and 10 water. I did not get that my first run. GG, boys. Thank you, guys. All right, here we go. Let's get the hell out of here. All right, boys. So we're back home. Home sweet home. All right, so we got a lot of gold over there, man. That was... I don't mean gold. You know what I mean. We got a lot of stuff that's worth more than gold. All right? Anyway, that is how you get the habitat. That is how you get the food. And um, if you want to make this infected water, like I said, you do get... Uh, is tube coral and uh, salt and that gives you this effect of water so now you're able to make um, food unlimited food and you're gonna be good to go all right I think in the next one we're gonna start the mission we are actually gonna go into the Aurora and we're gonna start repairing that and we're gonna try to try to move this quest along you know what I mean so we can get out of this freaking planet as beautiful as it is it will kill you right anyway um, I hope you guys Pick something up. I hope you guys learned something. I hope I taught you guys something. I hope I helped you guys out in, in some type of way. If um, if this video helped you out, do not forget to drop a like. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of these videos and you want to stick around, um, do not hesitate to subscribe. And if you want to, take it a step further, then hit that notification bell. All right? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. And like always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right? Peace.